All right, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday to you. It is the end of a very, very difficult week for us here. Here is the midday, and we, of course, have the latest on the COVID-19 outbreak for administration sources. For administration sources, that is, tell ABC News that President Trump is now expected to declare a national emergency at a press conference today set for 2 o'clock this afternoon. That is central time. It will happen 3 o'clock Eastern time. The details are limited. And one senior level uh, source official uh, just actively involved in the, in the case response tells ABC News that things remain extremely fluid. This comes as Austin just released details of the two first cases which they have in their city. We learn one of the Travis County cases is linked as well to the Houston area. The, the two cases are not related to one another. Uh, one of the cases uh, is uh, uh, epidemiologically related to a case from the Houston area. Now, the other case is an individual who was transferred to the Austin area from another hospital in the rural part of the state. All right, now, out of San Antonio, the city just announced its first travel-related case of COVID-19. The city's mayor says the patient is not connected to the evacuees from those cruise ships quarantined at Joint Base Lackland. This person began showing symptoms earlier this month, tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday, March 12th. We learned of the positive result late last night and are currently conducting an extensive contact investigation of this person's history. That person, by the way, is in self-quarantine along with their family. The uh, part of the, the announcement as well, the city also banned all events or gatherings of more than 500 people. That includes upcoming Tejano Music Festival and St. Patrick's Day parades. Again, this is in San Antonio. Cities throughout the state as well are doing that and even throughout the country. All right, now let's take a look at the numbers right now. Here they are, over 130,000 cases worldwide. Here in the United States, over 1,700 cases, 40 coronavirus-related deaths. And in our area, there are 18 cases. The newest cases, the newest case, that is, is a man between 40 and 50 from Northwest Harris County. Health officials say he is out of the hospital in isolation at home. But there are 18 cases throughout the Houston metropolitan area. And we have broken down what we know now about each of these local cases over at ABC13.com. You can find it all right there. More information on ABC13.com. Now, also breaking this afternoon, Texas Senator Ted Cruz is extending his self-quarantine. The senator issued a statement saying he still has no symptoms and that he still feels very well. However, he was informed that he had a second interaction with someone who tested positive for COVID-19. He spent 20 minutes interacting with that individual in his Washington, D.C. office. Earlier this month, Cruz met a person who was diagnosed while at a conference so he will remain in quarantine until at least March 17th. That was going to be lifted later this week, but now it's going to be lifted next week. All right, and just this morning, the Harris County Juvenile Justice Center is closed to the public after sources tell ABC 13 that someone who was inside the facility is now being tested for the coronavirus. Test results are expected tomorrow. In the meantime, only essential staff are allowed in, and they must enter the facility through the Caroline entrance. So again, that Justice Center closed down. Also news here this afternoon, Texas Southern University is suspending all classes today. It is the latest school college university to cancel classes as a precaution because of the, the virus and Fort Bend ISD held an emergency meeting to determine their response to the outbreak. Likely they will be closing as well. Every school district around Houston, in fact, is now shut down. That is some 500,000 kids who will be out of school for at least a week. More than that, if you include all of the metropolitan area, we're talking about nearly a million kids in, the, in, the, in this metropolitan viewing area. Now, Houston ISD is starting spring break today. That is a day early. The largest district in the state will stay closed through the end of the month. Also this morning, five states have shut down all public schools. Michigan, Ohio, Maryland, New Mexico, and Kentucky announced there will be no school all the way through high school. Classes statewide due to the outbreak. Closures impacting some 5 million students throughout the nation. And a reminder, we have the school closures scrolling on the bottom of your screen. There are plenty of them there, so most ISDs are just shut down. You're likely bet there that you will not have to attend school. If you're on spring break this week, they have been shut down for next week, extending that as well. 
All right, now here are some tips to help your student while on break because they have extra time. Prepare a space designated for learning. This means away from the television and, of course, those video games. Be sure to set goals of what you want to accomplish and make a schedule and stick to it. Also, you can consult with your district about just how to make access learning materials and get clear guidance on what your child is expected to tackle while out of the classroom. And a reminder, most, a lot of colleges and universities as well are continuing their coursework but online. And so they can continue doing that, of course. And how about this? Even though school is not in session, Aldine ISD has announced that it will offer free curbside meals. They will begin handing them out next week. They will be grab-and-go meals available at certain campuses. Students 18 and under will be eligible. Breakfast will be 7.30 to 9 a.m. Lunch will be 11.30 to 1.30 p.m. You can grab and go right there, All Aldine ISD. There is so much to discuss regarding, regarding COVID-19. We've had a very busy week. Keep safe and keep calm. And thanks for joining us here on Midday. We'll be back later on.